Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching. Today I have for you a super quick and easy recipe for a wonderful and healthy spring soup. You'll need only a few ingredients. The two main ingredients are potatoes and then either wild garlic or nettles, depending on whatever is available in your area. Right now, white garlic and nettles are sprouting literally everywhere in Vienna. So whenever we go on our morning walk with Shadow, that's our rescue husky if you're new here, I always make sure to have a bag with me for either of these wonderful plants. And before we start cooking, I also wanted to mention that these soups are great for anybody who is dealing with chronic gastritis. During the time when I was healing my stomach, I've been eating these soups for dinner or similar soups and that helps so much. They are easy to digest, therefore great for dinner, and they're also super good for you. And now let's start cooking. First, I always wash the wild garlic or nettles. Whenever I harvested a bigger amount, I like freezing a part of it for later use. In that case, the leaves have to be completely dry and then they should be packed loosely in either a bag or a container before it all goes to the freezer. And now to the soup. Here we have the soup ingredients, so wild garlic, which could be nettles instead, potatoes, onions and garlic. Furthermore, we have here canola oil, salt, black pepper and vegetable stock without yeast. First, I preheat the canola oil in a larger pot. Uh, please ignore the stains in the pot. The pot is even older than I am. Next, I throw in the onions and the garlic and the potatoes and toss all for a bit. After a few minutes, I'll pour in hot water with the vegetable stock and stir all. And then I'll let all simmer till the potatoes are cooked. Next, I'll add the wild garlic or nettles and I cook them for about a minute or maximum two minutes. And then all I have to do is to blend the soup with a hand mixer and that is it. It's super easy. Now the nettle soup can be prepared the same way with pretty much exactly the same spices and ingredients, but you can skip the garlic and instead of that you can use nutmeg and cilantro as spices. Both variations are absolutely lovely. And here is what the nettle soup looks like. If you pick wild garlic yourself, you have to make sure that you do not confuse it with lily of the valley, which is a poisonous plant that looks pretty similar. The wild garlic leaves have a matte backside and when you rub them, they smell of garlic. So if that's the case, then you're good to go. Alrighty, so that's how I cook these lovely and healthy spring soups. If you are having any stomach issues, I would recommend playing with the ratio between potatoes and white garlic or nettles at first. I would increase the amount of potatoes at the beginning and decrease the amount of either nettles or white garlic and then I would step it up gradually because it might be a little bit too sharp at the beginning but it will get better. And in general, if you want to know how I healed my chronic gastritis still on vegan diet, I recently published a video about that, so I will link it here in the right corner and also in the video description. And that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.